if it's being used so much, do we know how much people actually ingest from the food that we eat? I mean, you hear the whole spectrum saying, you know, rinse it off, rinse off your food and it's fine to, you know, be careful what you eat, the clean 15 and all that. Do we know how much we're actually getting into our body? Well, we know that, <clears throat> start with, it's, it's a systemic chemical. Okay. Just like 2,4-D, it's taken up and that's what's made it such a popular herbicide is you can squirt it on the plant and it distributes throughout the plant then, moves down into the root system mm -hmm. and then about 15 to 20 percent will move out into the soil for that antibiotic activity there. So that any time you're eating the food you're going to have uh, glyphosate in it if it's been sprayed with it or if it's taken it up from the soil because it's a systemic chemical. It accumulates in the root tips, shoot tips, and the reproductive structures. Well, those are the things that we eat. Mm -hmm. We know that our levels in the surveys that have been done, and there would uh, be nice to have a lot more data, but we know that our levels are anywhere from 16 to 160 times what they are in Europe, where they don't have the genetically engineered crops grown. They do import soybeans and feed it to the animals. Mm -hmm. But glyphosate also accumulates in the bones, in the muscle, the heart, the brain, uh, liver, kidneys, so that uh, you have even 160 times more glyphosate in breast milk than you have in the urine so that it's accumulating in the body. Again, it's uh, a very toxic entity on a long-term basis. It's like tobacco, it's a uh, chronic toxin, not an acute toxin, so you don't die immediately, just like you don't kill over dead when you smoke uh, the first pack of cigarettes. Right. It may take 20 years to accumulate. Uh, if you look at the epidemiological data and the clinical data that we're seeing now that's being published, uh, it's a lot faster than we anticipated.